Hey guys, Ryan said, Lake St. Clair Fishing Guide, Lake Erie Fishing Guide, um, high school fishing instructor. Uh, so we get a lot of clients that come up at Marcel's Guide Service. They bring their boat up and they want to fish with us for a day and then fish uh, themselves a couple of days on the Great Lakes. Uh, we also get some guys that contact us just about fishing on the Great Lakes and what that looks like and how to prepare and things like that. So I wanted to make a, a series of videos that just go through some Great Lakes basics. So if you're thinking about coming to the Great Lakes, you kind of uh, know what you need to do as far as equipment, uh, as far as boat rigging. So we're going to make a series of videos, five or six of them over the next couple of months. Um, just kind of show you what you need to know um, so that you come up here and have a good time. Um, we'll start with the fun stuff on today's video. I want to talk about just the five basic rods and reels you need to have ready. doesn't matter what season you come up here, um, that you need to have ready to go up here. And that's one of the funnest parts of getting ready to go on a fishing trip is getting your tackle ready. Um, so the very first thing that you got to have, doesn't matter where you're at on the Great Lakes, but especially Lake St. Clair, you got to have a drop shot. Um, we'll talk a, a separate video on how to set this up correctly, um, how to choose different baits and lengths and all that. Uh, we'll do videos on all of these separately, but you got to have a drop shot. Make sure you got a good rod and reel that you're confident in, that you can, uh, you can peg them on that drop shot. Um, second thing that has become really hot in the last couple of years is a Ned rig. It is simple, it's nothing, um, but you got to have uh, another spinning rod ready to go with this Ned rig. And again, separate video, we'll talk about different weights and baits and things like that that, uh, that work well with the Ned rig. But make sure you have a rod that's dedicated for the Ned rig when you come up here. I'm definitely going to need that. Um, a tube, a tube is always a must on the Great Lakes. We've got a lot of gobies. Uh, a tube does a great job of imitating that. This one's kind of peed up. Um, the uh, imitates crawfish as well. Got a lot of crawfish up here, but you want to have a rod ready to go for a tube as well. So three spinning rods is, is at least what you'll need coming up here. Uh, tube, Ned rig, and drop shot. And then two others that uh, that play for me again, no matter what the season is. Um, a swim bait. Uh, I, I throw a wide variety of swim bait uh, colors and weights and things like that. We'll do a separate video with this as well, talking about how to make those decisions. But make sure you have a rod ready to go with a swim bait. I like a bait caster most of the time, but there are some applications where I do throw it on a spinning rod as well. Um, so swim bait rod, make sure you're ready to go with that. Um, and then lastly, um, crankbait. Uh, I love to throw a crankbait. Um, last couple of years, we've not got quite as many bites on it. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I still throw it a ton because the bite on a crankbait is not like any other bait. They smash this thing. Um, it's, it's, it's just a really fun bite. So make sure you have a dedicated crankbait rod. I almost always throw it on a bait caster. Um, if you're not great with a bait caster, maybe this is a great opportunity to, to get good with it. Um, but a crankbait, make sure you have a crankbait rod. If you have those five rods, you'll be able to catch fish out here no matter what. Um, there are other techniques that can play. We'll do a separate video about secondary techniques that can work well in certain times of year. Um, but if you've got those five ready to go, you're going to be good to go to fish up here on the Great Lakes. So hopefully that's helpful for you and hopefully you enjoy the videos we've got coming.